In this video, I'll show you how to convert this single player game I call Gold Rush into a four person multiplayer game using the new GDevelop multiplayer features. This game is a fast paced platformer where you try to collect as many coins as you can before time runs out. You can use the keyboard or the gamepad to control your character. There are jump pads to get to the top of the game quickly. And then after the coins are picked up, they spawn randomly. The score is shown at the top left, and at the end of the game, the scores are highlighted. Okay, how do we convert the single player game into a multiplayer game? First thing we want to do is give the player one the multiplayer behavior. So we'll go to behaviors, search for multiplayer, multiplayer object. And we want this to be a player owning the object will be one. Next, we're going to duplicate the player one until there are four players in the game. We're going to edit the behavior for multiplayer so that player two is two, three is three, and four is four. Next, we're going to change the animation so each person has their own color. We're going to create an object group called players. We'll add all the players to that group. Next, we need to add some more variables to this text object I called score. There are one variable for each player. So we'll make new variables for this. Now we're going to do a control F on the events and search for everything that says player one and replace it with the object group players. Now we're going to update the score based off which player was collecting the coin. And then we'll change how we update this text based off the player variables. Now, when the game first starts out, we do need to show the lobby to the players. And we also want to disable the player's controls so that they can't move around while the lobby is displayed. Once the game starts, we want to give the players their controls back. And then we want to disable the camera movement for all players except for the current player. We also need to make sure we put our players into the game scene. Now let's give it a shot. We will launch preview in four windows. We will join the lobby. We will click ready on all four players and the host, we will click start game. There's a five second countdown and then we're in our game. So player one is the green player and the camera's following it. Player two is this red player. You can see the scores incrementing correctly. Cameras following them. 
we'll give some score to player three. And then I may have a few seconds left for player four to get a few points. And then this game will be over. And that's it. We converted our single player game into a four player multiplayer game. Wasn't that easy?